in reality, his studio's walls were gray, but when creating one of his most famous paintings, Henri Matisse chose to represent them in crimson red. This painting, called The Red Studio, depicts Matisse's workshop filled with his own paintings, sculptures, and decorative objects. Those works have since been sold and scattered around the world, some in private collections. The locations of a couple of the lesser-known works were only recently discovered. Now Denmark's National Gallery, the Statens Museum for Kunsk, has collaborated with New York Museum of Modern Art to reunite them for the first time, over a century since Matisse himself brought them together in a painting. All the works featured in the Red Studio date from the period of 1898 to 1911, when Fauvism was the dominant movement in France. Matisse is one of the greats, and this picture is one of his greatest paintings. And it has so much to do with the fact that he painted his studio and the pictures and the sculptures he had made at that moment. And in a way, you could say it's a self-portrait, because for an artist, really, what they make is who they are. Matisse remains one of the leading artists of European modernism of the early 20s. The Red Room Studio exhibit runs until February 26th.